everyone so now we are going to do one lab that is OSPF lab for cost check so what I will do I will take three router okay one two three and after that I will take switch we can take uh, three switch okay let me take the switch here one two three and what I will do I will remove this router we don't need this router I will move this here and I will move this here and I will move this here I will do here R1 and R2 and R3 okay and then you will do here switch 1 switch 2 and switch 3 okay and even if we did not take the PC no issue but let me take just we need to configure the what we can say the router only here interface is not there so I will add the interface already we know how we can add the interface we will switch off the router and then we will take the interface here okay we can take one or if you want to take more I think this is the two interface so we can take this let me remove this which one this one this is a pass ethernet right yeah and I will power on the router so now I can connect from here to here and now here I need the ethernet okay so let me switch off and ethernet we can see here this is a ethernet let me check uh, this is a ethernet I think yeah this is a ethernet interface yes I connected the ethernet because I need to check with the lab okay so what I will do here I will connect to Ethernet this is a Ethernet okay so what we will do we will check the cost so for that purpose I am taking fast Ethernet and normal Ethernet if you want I will connect some machine but no need for a machine here because we are just going to check in the router only not in the what we can say in the switch or in the machine but anyhow let me design a small topology so it will be good for you here like this here like this okay <coughs> now let me put the label here uh, we can take IP schema I will take here 192.168.1.1 this side and here we can take 192.168.12.0 okay this is 12.0 here in between and this interface we will use 192.168.2.1 and in between here 192.168.23.0 uh, okay because R2 and R3 we can take anything but I am using as per the router number this is R2 this is R3 and here I will write uh, this will be 192.168.3.1 okay this is IP schema I am going to use you can use any no issue now we are going to do the configuration so first of all we need to assign the IP so I will take the notepad and we are going to do the lab so let me write down here what is the lab name OSPF lab for cost check okay cost check and here I will do the R1 configuration R1 configuration will be simple enable config t host name this one already we know ok host name is R1 now let me do uh, IP address I will assign the IP address if you see this one fast ethernet 0 by 1 I will write IP address 192.168.1.1255.255.255.0 and I will write no shut here let me copy and paste this again same thing and here this will be fast ethernet 0 by 0 so I will make this as a 0 by 0 and here will be 12.1 so I will make this as a 12.1 ok so this one we assign the IP address to the both the interface now let me enable the OSPF in this both interface how we will enable we will write router OSPF1 then interface 
f0 by 0 we need to enable inside the f0 by 0 then ipospf1 area 0 then again i need to enable on the interface f0 by 1 and same thing this one we need to write that there also okay so this is a <laughs> configuration of r1 let's paste this configuration in r1 and check if everything is good then we can copy paste for r2 also so let me go here in the cli of r1 and let me write here i will paste here when i paste here if you see r1 config t host name this one is okay and again this one is okay and we assign here this is also okay everything is good no error nothing i will save the configuration and then what i will do i will go for the r2 let me copy this and i will paste here and what we will do here here let me okay this will be two and this will be two this one i am here okay and if you see fast ethernet zero by zero you have fast ethernet zero by one you have and you have fast ethernet one by zero so this three interface we need to look so what i will do i will uh, cut this first i will put this fast our wish we can do up and down no issue just i am putting this so first of all i am here okay fast ethernet 0 by 0 so this should be 192 12.2 so i change here 2 and here i have fast ethernet 0 by 1 this should be 23.1 okay 23.1 this one okay and i need to put one more interface here because this one is having two interface three interface this one f 1 by 0 okay so this should be f 1 by 0 after that f 1 by 0 is 192 168 2.1 so i will remove this this will be 2.1 and no shut this is a three interface i have here and i need to enable the ospf under this three interface so what i will do router ospf1 if fast ethernet 0 by 0 is okay 0 by 1 is also okay we need to enable 1 by 0 so what i will do i will copy the same thing and then i will paste here and here we will change what is the interface this one right so i will copy and i will paste here so everything is good here okay just i am doing uh, ospf configuration already we know in our previous class also we learned this now i will copy and paste in the r2 and we will check all are okay or we are getting any error so let me go here i will write here no and then paste here and then let me paste here and if you see everything is good no error nothing here and we can save here let me save wr now for the r r4 right r3 so let me copy the same thing and then we will modify for r3 so let me copy this whole thing from here to here i will go here <coughs> this is the r3 this will be r3 we have f0 by 0 so no need for uh, or let me put this here below this here and then anywhere we can put just i am moving here fast ethernet 0 by 0 you will have 23.3 right here 23.1 one we wrote or what we wrote 23.1 we wrote actually this should be our wish we can give one also but as we are giving the router number this is the router number 2 so here 23.2 and here 12.2 12.2 for this interface and this interface 23.2 okay we are giving router number you can use 23.1 also no issue and if you see this one this is a 23.20 that is 2.1 so this is good now let's see the third one fast ethernet 0 by 0 will be 23.3 so this should be 23.3 if you want to write the other thing also you can write no issue 23.3 and this one is ok finish now you have this interface ethernet you have so this should be changed to eth1 slash 0 ok this is a ethernet interface and here you need to put 3 3.1 three dot dot this one and we need to enable the ospf so what we will do here ospf this will be remain same because this is same interface but here this will change okay i hope you got this one just i am taking the interface ethernet 1 by 0 why because we have the ethernet 1 by 0 here so let me copy the same thing here and paste here 
let me go here in the CLI and I will write here no and then I will paste the configuration if you see everything is good no error nothing I will press ctrl z and then I will write wr ok now we need to wait some time after that we are going to check the cost if you remember in our notes we told if anyone want to go from here to here if anyone want to go from this network to this network that is example from R1 that is 192.168.1.0 network if anyone want to go to that is R3 we have but the network will be 192.168.3.0 if anyone want to go from the 1.0 to 3.0 then cost will be 1 plus 1 plus 10 that is a 13 from here we need to check the living interface so this is a living interface this will be 1 this will be 1 and this will be 10 ok if you want to go from R3 to R2 then you have here 1 here 1 here 1 so then you have 1 plus 1 plus 1 so it will be 3 so now we need to verify this one ok so what I will do I will go in the R1 I will go in the R1 and then I will write here show IP root first of all let me check the roots we are getting or not we have the root here and if you see this one this one if anyone want to go to this network if anyone want to go to 192.168.3.0 network then AD value is 110 AD value we already know that is a trusted value that will remain 110 but if you see matrix that is matrix is cost so you are getting the cost as 12 as we told when we have ethernet they will add 1 plus 1 plus this is a ethernet interface that is a 10 ok so we are getting that value here we are getting 12 why we are getting 12 1 plus 1 plus 10 that is a 12 because we have the ethernet interface here ok and what else we can say if you want we can check the cost also example as I told in the ethernet we will have the cost different in the fast ethernet we will have the cost one so if you see here show IP OSP of interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 so I am checking fast ethernet cost so you can see fast ethernet cost we have the one cost as one but if you go here in the router 3 and if you check this ethernet cost then it will show you 10 how we will check we will write show IP OSP of interface ethernet 1 slash 0 ok 1 we have I think 1 slash 0 this is a cost if you see cost 10 ok so what we told fast ethernet is having the cost as 1 ethernet is having the cost as 10 so that's why we are getting the here 13 and here we verify whenever you use the ethernet it will be cost as a 10 in the OSPF and if you use the fast ethernet cost will be 1 if you even if you use the gigabyte cost will be 1 ok so hence we prove with the help of lab I, it is simple only just you need to check like this way if anyone want to go from here to here net this network cost will be leaving interface so this is a leaving cost is 1 this is a leaving cost is 1 this is a leaving but here is 10 so 1 plus 1 plus 10 so it should be 13 and if you are going from this direction then here 1 here 1 and here 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 so it will be 3 ok and we check also fast ethernet is having the cost as 1 and the ethernet is having the cost as 10 ok so I think this one is ok so we can end this video with the help of lab we verify that one whatever we discuss in the theory we verify